we're suffering through a biblical storm. A lot of standing water in real dangerous conditions. two race events. So that means if you damage the car in practice one, qualifying one, there's a good chance you're gonna be out until tomorrow. That was probably some of the worst driving I've ever done. I do one sector really fast, and then in the second sector, I just push too much, and I go off or spin. On two or three occasions, I saw some cars go off track and then make a very dangerous move coming back on track. If you do go off, you cannot just yank the car back on track. Andrew Novich is a little bit of a wild card, you know, add some rain in the mixture and it, it could get real hairy out there. Hopefully I qualify out of his way and stay out of his way for most of the race. Awesome. Another pole. So second pole of the year. If we could still somehow figure out how to get to the podium on Sunday, that would be good too. Me and Andy are on the front row for the first race. I'm sitting third in the points championship with Timmy Meganbeyer behind us in both of the races, who's leading right now. As long as we can finish in front of him, I think it still gives us a shot at Atlanta in the last race. We got three rounds left. I've slipped to fifth in the standings. I'm just a point behind Pombo for fourth, and now I need some help from Timmy to win. Timmy's like 72 points ahead of me. So I, need, I essentially need him to have an off-kilter weekend. We'll just have to wait and see. Meganbeyer needs to be behind us, though. I started go-karting when I was four, got my first go-kart for Christmas, and moved up from five, six, seven, eight to 18 now. The one thing that we've always concentrated on was moving up sooner than we needed to. We want to be in eighth grade when we should be in sixth grade. And the reason is, is we learn more. I can tell you when he's had great years and when he's had bad years, and last year was a really bad year. We tried to win every race, every time, on the first lap, and we just threw the whole thing away. We just couldn't get our act together. But once he makes a mistake, he learns from that mistake, and I've never really seen him make the same mistake again. Throughout the last 14 years, we've spent a tremendous amount of money racing. If we don't do well here, there may not be funds next year to do this. It really pushed me to work harder this year because this is the last year I can race if I don't win the championship. For the first time this year, there's a sense of desperation in the air. We got second through fifth in points, starting first through fourth on the grid, and right now, second does nobody any good. What's our goal this weekend? Finish on the podium. Remember, Pombo's four behind you. He's got nothing to lose. As far as Joey and Andy go, they're still in it. They're not throwing a Hail Mary, but maybe the guy we got to worry about is Pombo. You never know. The main thing is we got to finish, got to keep our nose clean. A zero is not good right now. When you're points racing, you don't win every battle, but you win the war at the end. The goal is to win the war. All right, here we go. desperately wanted to win. I thought I was going to be able to hold it, but I guess when I got on the dirty part of the curving, it just put me two wheels off, and then from there it was gone. I'm done, dude. Terrible way to end the season. And this track is one of those deals that tends to eat up cars pretty good. T's been really good at not crashing the car, and so we're not going to worry about it, you know? We're just going to go out and race. Let's say we clinch the championship here in New Jersey. I'd love to see him in Atlanta because at Atlanta, all the gloves are off. Now it's a bar fight, so let's go. Me and Jake tried to fit in a spot that only one car fits in, and he got the bad end of the stick on that one.
was a perfect storm of screw-ups. He did nothing wrong. It was totally my fault. I ended up coming across the track, and then Taylor went straight into me. So, I mean, he was just trying to get through everything, and he got the short end. It's tough. He apologized to me twice in the medical room, but uh, I don't know how serious he was about it, because he obviously wasn't listening to our driver instructors. And uh, we were told numerous times, if you go off tracks, you got to bring it back on slow. I wasn't in the championship race, and now I've got that much more work to do to try to get some money for next year because I'm not going to be finishing as well this year. It's not good. Not good. Could you ever imagine that you were going to be the points leader going into Road Atlanta? Coming from last year, not finishing one race to winning or being on the podium every race is a pretty big dream come true. Timmy Megan Bear, everybody. His car is completely destroyed, and you've put a few guys in a tough spot throughout the season. The fact that you ran into him, that was your mistake. He crashed out both races. So what does that say? I mean, so you can see him coming in your rear view mirror is just sideways and totally out of control. That's what I need. I need some out of control people near the contenders so that they have to back off a little bit, because I'm not going to. Well, congratulate the winners, though. Visibility is next to nothing. It's going to be tough. The last laps, the last corners, 100K. Somebody's going to be a champion. Unfortunately, Timmy was in the wrong spot at the wrong time.